So I wanted to cover the new object selection buttons that are found in the Select and Mask dialog box. So let's say we have this image. I'll hit Command or Control 1 to zoom in to 100%. Space bar just to pan down so we can really see the hair because that's where it shines. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose this tool option. Any of these will work. Any of these will toggle on the tool options bar for that particular grouping of tools. And what we want is the select subject and select and mask button. Let's just go to it. Here's the select and mask dialog box. Notice this huge interface. We can't see quite what's going on because on my view, it's on onion skin, which is great if you have a layer beneath and you're ready to go, but I'm not there. So I'm gonna put this on black and white so that we can really see the magic. And I'm just gonna hit select subject. Photoshop is going to figure out what the subject is. Okay, and it's done a really good job. But this button is new. Watch what happens when I hit the refine hair button. Isn't that amazing? I, I mean, for two years, we've been using this refine edge brush tool right here to paint all around the hair, but we don't have to do that anymore. What I will do is I'll use that quick selection tool and I'll just make a pass right here. And pretty much I'm going to toggle some smart radius because I always like Photoshop to do a little extra looking around the edge and I'm going to scroll down to the output settings and choose new layer with layer mask click OK command zero to fit it in the screen so I think what I'd like to do with this image is put a gradient behind it so I'll select below I'll add new layer I'll hit G for the gradient tool which is right here and then mine's already selected, but chances are you're still uh, with a white to black or black to white selection here for your basics. So just toggle open the blue. I'm going to grab this first one and I'm just going to pull it down like this. I really like that, but I want a double gradient. I want a gradient coming. I want a dark blue here, like a lighter blue in the middle and then a dark blue at the bottom. So I'm going to add another layer and I'll come from this side. Yeah, I like that a lot, but obviously it's washing away the one we had up here, right? So all I need to do, I don't need to add a layer mask and do careful, you know, painting on the mask. All I need to do is let Photoshop do it for me. So I'll go up and I'll choose darken. Look at that. It kept all of the luminosity of the original image. It didn't color contaminate anything. And basically it just brought back or added this little dark blue in the corner. So now I have this nice gradation. And remember, I can continually revise this. Like if this blue is coming up too far, I'm still on that layer. I'll just make it not come as far. You see that? So I can continually drag it until it's the exact way I want. I can come back up here. So that's the new refine hair feature in Photoshop. And again, holding down the space bar and the command key, I'm going to zoom in or you can click and drag. And just look at that hair selection, how sharp this is. That's really great. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. <laughs>